The main reference used in coming up with this presentation is the book of Walpole, Myers and Myers entitled Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists, the sixth edition. In this video, I'll explain the variance of the random variable X. The variance of the random variable X is the expectation of the squared deviation of the random variable from its mean. Our standard notation for the variance is sigma squared. Note that the positive square root of the variance is the standard deviation. You can calculate the variance of the random variable x using these two formulas, depending on whether x is discrete or continuous. If the random variable x is discrete, its variance can be calculated using this first formula. Sigma squared is equal to the summation over x of x minus mu quantity squared times f of x. On the other hand, if x is continuous, the variance of x can be calculated using this second formula. Sigma squared is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x minus mu quantity squared f of x dx. Let's have an example. Suppose that a box contains five balls, two are numbered three, one is numbered four, and two balls are numbered five. The balls are mixed and one is selected at random. After a ball is selected, its number is recorded. Then it is replaced. If the experiment is repeated many times, find the mean, then later the variance of the numbers on the balls. To find the variance, we first need to calculate the mean. We know that the mean can also be computed using the principles of mathematical expectation. That is, expected value of x is the summation over x of x times f of x. Here, the probability of randomly selecting a ball numbered 3 is 2 fifths because there are 2 balls numbered 3 out of the five balls in the box. Also, the probability of randomly selecting a ball numbered four is one fifth because there is only one ball numbered four in the box. Lastly, the probability of randomly selecting a ball numbered five is two fifths because there are two balls numbered five in the box. Now, calculating the mean using the formula of the mathematical expectation, Expected value of x is, again, the summation over x of x times the corresponding probability value. Again, you can see here that the mean of the random variable x being discrete is just the sum of the products of the values of the random variable and its corresponding probability value f of x. Okay? This would give us the value of the mean, which is equal to 4. After computing the mean, we can now calculate the variance. Since the random variable x is discrete, then we use this formula to calculate the variance. Sigma squared is now equal to the summation over x of x minus mu quantity squared times f of x. Take note that 3 here, 4, and we also have 5 are the individual values of x, and mu here is the computed mean. f of x will of course be the individual probability values corresponding to each of these values of x. Okay? The test, the variance is the sum of the products of each value of x and its corresponding probability. Hence here, the variance is found to be equal to 4 fifths. Let's have another example. This time, it's for the continuous case. Suppose that the weekly demand for a drinking water product in thousands of liters from a local chain of efficiency stores is a continuous random variable x having the probability density function given by f of x is equal to 2 times x minus 1 if x would take values between 1 and 2 and f of x is equal to 0 elsewhere. Here we are to calculate the variance of the random variable x. 
First, we need to calculate the mean. Since x is a continuous random variable, its expected value, which is the mean, can be calculated using this formula of the mathematical expectation for expected value of x. That is, expected value of x is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times f of x dx. Now, the limits are from 1 to 2 because these are the possible values that the random variable x could take. Okay. Simplifying further and evaluating at x equals 1, then x equals 2, we would find out that the mean is equal to 5 thirds. After computing the mean, we can now calculate the variance. Since the random variable x is continuous, we use this formula to compute the variance. That is, sigma squared is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x minus mu quantity squared f of x dx. As you can see here, sigma squared is the integral from 1 to 2 of this quantity x minus 5 thirds squared times 2 times x minus 1, one end of the quantity dx. 5 thirds here is the value of the mean we were able to calculate a while ago, while 2 times x minus 1 is that of the probability density function. Performing the integration, then evaluating at x equals 1 and at x equals 2, the variance of x is now found to be equal to 1 over 18. I hope you learned something from this video. In my next video, I'll be discussing the covariance. Thank you for watching.